Good afternoon and welcome back to Alan's Altman. Just want to say again a massive thanks for all the likes, dislikes, comments, subscriptions, suggestions and donations from all of the previous videos you've seen of late. We're caught up again now. It's Friday afternoon and it's the 25th of August 2023. And today's a good day because it's the start of a week off. So I've got the bank holiday weekend and then I've took the four days after that off as well. That's used the last, last of my holidays up for the year. But my holidays start again in October, so yeah. So there'll be a few videos to come. Another thing to do is I'm putting another shed up. Yes, you heard me right, I'm putting another shed up. <laughs> in the chicken pen. Now it's technically a playhouse that I got given for nothing and I went and picked up with a trailer. Oh, quite a few weeks ago, I've just never told you about it. And that's going to be a little broody shed for hatching chicks and things like that. Now, I've got a, an incubator arriving tomorrow that runs on 12 volts. And I'm going to have a go trying to hatch some eggs in that new shed from someone who have, with a breed that I've always wanted, some Isabel Legons. And I'm waiting for them to collect the eggs up and ship them up to me. But in that time, I've got a shed to build <laughs> and test the propagator. Now, I have one hen, though I think he's still broody, which I might be able to set up as well as a backup. And give her six eggs and put six in the incubator as a test and hopefully get something out. So these are all videos to come. Um, I've just unloaded the car. With guess what? Some more trees. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be like a forest up here very shortly. So I've got, uh, you, you're probably aware that people who have been watching over a period of time will be aware that I lost my lime tree and my grapefruit tree to black mould in this polytunnel down here last year. And learned a hard lesson from that and almost lost most of my citrus trees. And Thankfully, there, there's only those two, plus a mandarin, that I did completely lose. It's just, they've gone. There was no coming back from the dead. So, I've bought another lemon, uh, another lime, sorry, and I've bought another grapefruit. And as an insurance policy, I'm going to be taking some cuttings from them and doing them in the um, plug trays. And I'm going to be grafting some onto the lemons, oranges... Um, of both varieties and I'm going to make some fruit cocktail trees so in the hopes that if we lose any this year something will survive and we'll have a bit of everything uh, blood orange, uh, lemon um, lime and grapefruit and I'm going to graft these or some of these branches onto all of my citrus trees that I've got and they're all going to be fruit cocktail trees so hopefully We'll always have a, an insurance backup, and I'm going to be taking cuttings as well and planting them in the uh, root riot uh, plugs. Right, so let's give you a little update of the cuttings that we took about three weeks ago. And as you can see, all of these blueberry cuttings are still looking very happy and healthy. And you can possibly just see on that one, it's even put a little bit of growth on in the centre. It's the only one I can see like that, but yeah. No, there's one focus. There's one there as well, just starting to. Now, what I noticed with the uh, blood orange and in particular the peaches, the leaves have fell off a couple of the peaches. But it's getting to that time of year where they would start shedding, anyways, and they are still green. If you look, so I'm going to assume they're still alive and they're only shedding the leaves because it's that time of year. But the blood orange, there's one appears to have failed there. The others have also, oh no, there's two, there's one there as well, shed its leaves. But the others have all kept the leaves so far. And these three here, you haven't seen, these are off the red bonfire peach. Now the middle one didn't have any leaves, that's just a bit of cutting 
that was left over from the one branch I did take and we put them all in there and I've got all these spare and if you missed the last video this is what we're using the root rays plugs excuse the mess this place needs tidied out and it will be done very soon but I just thought I'd give you an update on these so we're now nearly three weeks down the line by now me other cuttings that I've ever taken would be dead because I didn't know how to do it and as I say I watched a video on doing the green shoots and doing them in this method with good success now not every one of these will take only a small percentage but any is a bonus and that's why we've done so many right so what i'm going to do is show you how we prepare these because you didn't see that in the last video so what i've done now is i've taken some cuttings some older growth and some younger growth off the lime tree and what i want to do is try and save a couple by putting them in as cuttings and we're going to do some grafts as well onto the lemon and grafts onto the orange etc so there's your cutting. Simply pop off the leaves. In fact, it's probably easier to cut it so you don't strip. And just leave a little touch of the petty uh, of the uh, a little tiny wee piece of where the leaf was like that now because of the size of these two top leaves we're going to trim so we don't lose moisture we're going to cut those right down to that and I'll probably get two cuttings out of this and you most people will probably already know this but what you need to do is you need to cut below a node and I'm just wondering so if I go below that one there that's it that's me cutting that's the tip but this is part of a center branch with no leaves but there's no reason why this won't also propagate so what I do now is obviously at the bottom you can only it goes a certain way at the bottom I'll simply gently scratch off the green coat down to the cambium layer like that now what I do as well for some cuttings I would just dip that now in um, root and hormone and pop it in but what I do with some cuttings is I use the secateurs and I run a slice like that down the centre and then across so basically you're putting a cross in the bottom of it and, and just opening the bottom up like that Oh, I can, I can smell the lime. Open the centre up like that, and that will just help that to form roots. And now we'll get the rooting compound wherever I've put it. Great, uh, I come to show you how to do something, and I don't, I'm not prepared. <laughs> Be back with you in a sec. Right, so I had to move everything to find my rooting compound. <laughs> so I'm not sure if the angle's gone skew with. Basically there's our cutting with a split end and I'm just going to dip that in the root and compound like that and then shake off the excess and just pop it in there like that. Same with this one, just need to scratch it up with the secateurs down to the cambium layer. And the damage that you cause to the bottom of this is what will cause it to start trying to callus over. Okay. So just to show you, I'm not going to split this one and we're just going to pop that one in. And what we're going to do is find out which method works best, whether splitting it and hoping to, by splitting it, that they, they develop into roots or whether just popping it in makes no difference whatsoever. So I've got a couple more cuttings now of this lime. I'm going to get these in ASAP and then we'll uh, give you a look around. And there we have it. So I've took two, four, six, eight 
grapefruit. There wasn't as many cuttings on the grapefruit. Uh, not new wood, anyways. New, uh, new green growth. And I think I've got everything filled up in that one with the lime, with the exception of one cell. Right, so this is our um, kiwi tree. It's quite a nice little specimen, but it's had a bit of scorching. Um, but we're going to pot this into a bigger pot. Bring it on a bit before we decide. But you can see it's still growing, and it's got new, brand new growth here. And we'll be taking cuttings from that, not yet, once it's recovered. And down here, I've just got a white, another little white cutting. It was the last one on the shelf from uh, Morrison's, I think. So I just thought I'd get that other white cutting as well. This is the grapefruit, and it does have one fruit on at the moment. So we know that these branches are mature. And we know they can produce fruit, and if you clone a tree, you'll get fruit as soon as the graft is healed. Usually in the following year. Um, it's not the biggest specimen, this one. It's taller than my last one. And it's got more branches than my last one. But again, we're going to try and maximise. We're going to take some of these cuttings and we're going to graft to lemons and we're going to graft to oranges as well. Here we've got the uh, duo pear. It's quite a nice little specimen and uh, dual branch. And then we've got this uh, damson plum, which is a really nice specimen on a dwarf stock with multi branches. And we'll be taking some cuttings of this as well because. Uh, Oh, sugar. Uh, plum rootstock is one of the finest rootstocks you can use for grafting cherries too, other varieties of plum, um, apricots, cherries, you know, all the stone fruit. Even peach. You can graft peach to this as well. So we'll be taking some cuttings from this as well to try and keep the variety because this is a, uh, a golden plum. Only one of these pack choice survived, the slugs and everything got the others. I've popped two or three lettuces in here, they seem to be doing all right. These melons, well, they never ever done anything, and I was just about to pull it out, and then I noticed there's a melon coming on, but yeah, it's too late now, these. Don't know what happened to them, but you can see uh, these calabrese. I think these are either calabrese or cauliflower. They're doing really well. These ones got away, okay. And they're doing better than the other ones over there, but this crowd dry these beddies again. I keep banging on about this. These are all my other blueberries and uh, fig. I think that's a fig. Yeah, brown turkey fig. And I think these are uh, white berry or yeah, raspberry. Now, uh, yeah, this is a white, white berry, white cunt, and that one is as well. The, uh, all these tomatoes, I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to strip this bag down now and get some brassicas in. Um, I'll take off what few tomatoes there is left in here. This is the boy tunnel that we skinned, that we're in. And this is the lime tree. This is a really good specimen, this. And I've actually got myself a uh, plant stringer now as well. They want clipped off when it's in its final place. It's not staying in here, they're just in here for now. But you can see I've also got these here growing root stocks. I'm gonna let them grow and then we'll cut them off and make them bush out and thicken out and we'll graft to those root stocks. Root stocks growing from this root stock where we lost these two trees. These are my little lemon and little orange that we grew from little plug plants last year. And uh, I've just given them a trim and put repotted them into some better, bigger pots and better compost. Right, thanks for popping along again. Thanks for all your likes, comments, dislikes, subscriptions, suggestions, donations. And just for following me along, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, we're nearly at 2,000 now, as someone pointed out, I hadn't even noticed. Thanks very much, Alison. Um, so, come on, give me that little push, get me to 2,000. Hit that subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything. It only takes 10 seconds. Select the bell icon, select all, and that will alert you every time I put up a new video. And you can follow my shenanigans. Right, as always, stay safe, be practical, and keep yourselves out of arms way. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.